YouTube. It is I, B.O., and uh, welcome to uh, this reacting. I wasn't going to do a video today, but I was scrolling through, you know, YouTube, and then look what happened. Jubilee. You know, I love them. They uploaded a video, and this video is very, uh, it's, it's a little bit with me because it's, it's, the title of it is Do All Black Men Think the Same? I've been waiting for a video like this for so long because I think black men, we're not really like, I feel like, I won't say representative, but like we're not like, I think we're not really listened to. I don't want to say that because I want to angry the black woman. It's just, I feel like we're not very like, I'm going to say representative enough in, in media. I think they, they have this one, like it's only a specific type of black men that get noticed. And everyone else, if you don't follow suit, it's like, you, you're you not really like, are you black? I've been told that before about white women. Are you really black? It's hilarious. I decided that um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do a react. Uh, I hope you guys like this type of, I just, every once in a while, it's like specific, it's only gonna be like Jubilee videos because I like their, I like the format and how they present themselves. So yeah, that's it. Spectrum, nice background. Without further ado, let's, Let's get right into the video. Oh, it's hey, hot. Hey, humans, before we start this episode, we've got a big Oh, my God. I'm going to turn this fan on. Are you tired of seeing this guy oh, intro every single video? She got video. titties. I'm sorry. That's, that's what rude. About What's happening? Is this like... Ooh, is this... Like well, what is this? What is this? Promo? I'm good with that. Nothing wrong with it. Hold up. Okay. I'm sorry, Jubilee. I like your videos, but I'm not really trying to like... I'm trying to watch the video. That's it. Okay. Black men that date white women, it, there's something different, and there's nothing nothing wrong with that. But you you know what it is. Like you you oh okay, child is gonna be no. I can see that. What? Jordan Peele. Okay, I can see that. Okay, I'm gonna need to see what that's what that's about. What that what that? I mean, I, wait, hold up. I might have an idea what he's what he's saying, but the old black man, they got all types of shades and colors. They ain't got no light skins. What are you to do? Expected to have a big. That's how we start off the video. Big dick energy. Did he say big dick too? I think this is one of the things where like, as a black man, I'm not gonna like, I'm gonna be like, hey, that ain't true. Like, I mean, that's one of the stereotypes I'm like, Ugh. but like, don't, don't be surprised if I don't meet up to your expectation. That's your fault. That's not my fault. You putting that energy on me. I don't appreciate none of that, but let's continue with the video. Three, two, my man look happy. Look at that. Five. Go. I, they've all, they all been to say yes, yeah. I feel like he just, we're not gonna go there. 87% said uh, strongly agree. Nobody disagrees. Agree. <laughs> of course not. Yo, disagree with that. Yeah, I feel like it's a stereotype. Mm -hmm. and we know that stereotypes aren't realistic, but I mean, personal encounters, I don't I don't feel like there's leeway. I feel like, okay, that one we're keeping. Like that's See? what the general See? I, I told you. It's into the issue of positive and negative stereotypes and how people need to realize that there is no such thing because what you do is you put people into a box where mm -hmm. they're expected to live up to. I feel like he don't got a big dick. I'm just joking. <laughs> I don't got one either. So I, I understand what you're saying though. And I feel like it's over. Cause then like you get to those, like you get to those people that be like, uh, is it true what, you, what they say about you guys? Did you have a Donkey Kong in your um, what did what did Donkey Kong live in your jungle? Like, bitch, I got, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a black man. You know, you should want to date. I'm a two hit a quitter. I don't know what the I'm trying to say. physically that they can bring to you, and I know I've talked to people personally <clears throat> who would be like, oh, you're lucky, you're black, you have a big member, and I'm like, well, I have other things to offer too. Like, yeah, I'm well spoken. My mind. I have a good sense of humor. I'm well traveled. Like, you go. People that say they have a good sense of humor don't have one. If you say you funny, then that's true. But when you say I have a good sense of humor, you ain't funny, bro. Look at his eyes. This man like he's about to. <laughs> What's he looking at? Is he looking at the big mama jumbo? Yeah, I mean, that's been my experience a lot of times, especially. Also, I'm sorry if I pause a lot. You might hear music. I don't know if I'm going to add music when I pause it, when it's like, because you, quiet, we don't like quietness, because if we talk to the demons down here, if it gets too quiet. But I like to pause, because I don't want to, like, interrupt anything. So when I pause, I get my, my say so, and I continue. That's you know, the reason why. Meeting different people, that's the expectation. And I just tell them, two-inch punisher, you know? Don't expect too much. I'm just joking, but it's a. Uh... He wasn't joking. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was a I terrible a joke. Watch a lot of porn too, and that. What's his name? What was his name? Percy. Percy Jackson. You see, you know these mandingos and you know ten-inch monsters, and mm -hmm. they expect that to be reality, and mm -hmm. a lot of times it's not. But that's the expectation. I told you, show it's okay. Our audience submit hot takes about this. Year hot takes. And they are hot. So how hot are they? Black men cheat on their significant. Low key, I feel like I feel like I feel like a woman said this, specifically a black woman. I love my black queens, but I I hear a lot of black women say black men cheat more than any. I feel like this is a woman that like pick shitty man and now she wants to pick her uh her terrible choices want to be pushing on the whole gender i feel like this is a black woman that just like probably got a terrible baby daddy and like it's okay it's okay baby it's just you gotta get better with your choices and man far more than other races i'm just like where is this study published did someone do yeah. some research yeah. exactly calculated numbers over a given period of time yeah. I yeah. the reason why it was going to be neutrals because i don't know the numbers like exactly. i don't that's know what i'm saying that's why i'm like, oh, he's one of those yeah. Yeah. He, got, he got one so of them glasses this way because the he's one of them facts far more. i was like do black men cheat in generally black, like you don't you're not apt to not cheat because of the color of your skin to prescribe this to race feels nefarious in a way that my man said like nefarious place. this man is from new he said nefarious he probably got he got some tims on <laughs> oh, and some shorts got cheated on by he got black some man. <laughs> right, right. Like, that's like, why yeah, that's why yeah, i said men cheat all the uh, I, come on it's my man said nefarious black men are attracted to big butts that might be facts actually it depends low key I, it depends on how I feel. Sometimes I like a little bit. If I see like a girl, you know, with them thing, I'm like, mommy. But it, it depends on. But this might. It might have to do with the culture, just like with hip hop. Booties have always been in my face since I was two years old, since I could walk. So this might be some science to it. That statement, or do I personally. Here he go. I, this guy, I don't like him already. He's the more. Actually, do we agree with. Shut up, man, Roger! <laughs> I mean, th there's nothing biologically innate to like black men, right? So, but you know, you so know we we do. I think it ties into hip hop and the whole. See, hip -hop scene I told you. So far gone from. I'm a black like, man. The natural aesthetics of just a natural person that. Right it's kind of racist. Why you got this beat? Who has whoa, 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 Jubilee! Why is this the beat? I mean, I'm not hating, but. That is ass. Who ass is 25 pounds? Meanie, meanie, my name, I'm sorry. Like that's two pound legs, the ant booty. And I personally don't get it. I mean, it looks unnatural to me, like, you know, but I mean, right. a nice ass is just a nice ass. Though. That's true. Low Bro, black people are funny. And if you ever try and roast one of them, they will roast your ass so hard that you'll have no roast to rebuttal. I don't know. I feel like a white person wrote that. But like he liked the fact, like I think he got roast by. Uh, well, I, why he got me saying roast? I think he got talk like sh he got shit talked by a black person. Like, oh yo, you funny. <laughs> but as a group, I think we are like, I think black people we don't take nothing seriously. <laughs> I've never met a I black know. person that hasn't made me laugh. What so are you saying? I think black people as a collective are fun are funny. If you go to black Twitter, if you go to black Instagram, black Facebook, like you're going to laugh. So I think that in that aspect, that's why like the that shade room. Say at the shade room. So if y'all know the shade room is, it's don't go there. So I guess it's, it's like, like worse than Twitter. Like black people as a whole are they funny, or is like any black person gonna knock your ass off because he's super funny? Like I, I think, think it's a whole because obviously black. no no person by themselves like there's not. Like you could, any group, no one person is gonna represent the whole group. But I think as a whole, we I think we're pretty whole, funny. Like yeah, they got jokes. You know, it goes yeah. back and forth. Cool. That's why I said as a. But collective. don't think that any black person you go to expect like a really good joke. You know. With that being said, though, I've never met a black person that hasn't made me at least like laugh. Maybe not die hard, but there's not been a black person that I've met. Like personally, that has never made me not laugh. So the N word should stop being used by. I don't. This this is ruined my day. This is ruined my day. This is a this is such. I don't know why this is such a a, a I'm a, okay. This is I hate talking about this because it's like I talk about it so much. This this low key kind of ruined my day. I hate this conversation so much. That right there is stupid. The fuck out of here with that. The N word should stop being used because other people can't say it. We gotta stop saying it. This is my thing. This is I'm gonna say this one time so anybody want to ask my opinion on it, they can I refer them to this video. This point in time, what we're at 523 uh, of this uh, of this video. You, you know what I'm trying to say. 
why is it that the, the, the if you don't know nigga the word they are talking about why I say it like that's not like Mario Judah nigga! why is it that this is the only word that like every like a lot of people have this confusion on and I think I know the reason why when when women say don't call other women don't call women bitches Everyone understood that. But yet, women can call each other bitches, right? But everyone understood that. Gay people, or the gay slur, the F word. I'm not going to say it, because I'm, you know. But the F word, you know what I'm talking about. You're not supposed to say that to, to gay, you're not supposed to say that at all, because it's a slur. But gay people can say it to each other. They, I, I, My brother has said it. He, if you don't know, my brother's gay. Gay people say that to each other all the time as like a, a term of endearment. Everyone understood, understood under, blah, understands these words that, are not supposed to be used. But when it comes to nigga, it's this huge confusion on if I can say it or not, or like, you know, and it's just, like, it's because we're black. Honestly, it's because they want, they, black, we just copied it. We're, they want to be black and they want to antagonize black people. That's literally all it is. Because it makes no sense that all these other words are understood to not, like, you can't say these certain words and everyone's like, cool, cool, cool. But like a specific group can. They're like, oh, cool, cool, cool. That's your thing. But when it comes to this word, everyone's like, well, what's the what's the root? Like, come on, you know what it is. So that's my All races. That's so Three, stupid. If, two, if, if, some one, people are gonna say they go. agree. That's hard. I don't think I it's hard. I just think the N-word, when you look at the root of the word, even slaves would use it. I was liking you, bro. Don't. Can we stop using that defense, slaves? If you go back to history, damn near every word has like an offensive upbringing. The root of it. Like every, no matter what, people are going to find offense to every, everything. That doesn't mean you stop using it. We, yes, it, it came from a, a very a, a bad thing, but we turned it around to use it positively. So I I don't understand. To I'm, a little, I'm, a little, I'm not gonna judge him though. When accepting their supposed oppression, so I just think when I think about that, I don't think you can do anything. Why do you look at him like that? the history? Like, what you, like and the blood you're like nigga, what the fuck you talking? That's been shed on that word. There are so many people who. <laughs> but it, the history, wait, let's see his face again. Maybe that, I'm tweaking. Maybe he didn't make that. I don't face. think you can. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you talking about, bro? Do anything to erase the history. And the blood that's been I've heard this that defense word. a lot of so times too. Who, the last thing they heard was the N-word as they were being murdered. So I just when I think about that, yes, I think the words should stop being used. Personally, me, I feel like it kind of starts with us. The fact that we make it so cool within music and within like entertainment that it lets other people feel like they have a pass or that it's okay. That, that's another thing like, too. A lot of people think I had that defense of Oh, the rappers is in a song. Why can't I say it? Like, bro, that that's the same thing as saying I play a violent video game. Why can't I go shoot this person because I could do it? Like, just because it's like, here's my thing. You can say it if you're not black. You can say it by yourself or with your other white friends because like, I know they they be saying it. My whole thing is, why do you want to say it? Why, why do you want to say it so bad? Like, why do you want to say it so badly is the first one. But also, why do you want to say it around people that you know won't like it? Like, I can't stop you from saying it, you know, online or in your comfort of your own home. But, like, when you get out in public, it's like, come on, bro. You you know what's going to happen to you. rapper said it. Or I heard it here. Or you guys say it all the time. How come I can't say it? But at the end of the day, it's black. It's black culture pain. And if anyone's going to be using it, it should only be us. And that's it. You can't really, really own a word. Oh, God. I think. Here come Mr. Tentacle. Here come Mr. Tentacle with the you can't own the word. I mean, yes, you can't own the word, word, but you also have to realize there's consequences to your actions and what you say. You know, we can own it in the sense where it's a black cultural thing, but the idea where we kind of make it out to where we say like, oh, other people can't say it. I think that's more of like a insecurity within the black culture of not being able to hold power because historically it's like right mm. historically black people didn't have as much power so i don't think it's really all that deep i don't think it's i get what you're saying but i don't think it's really all that deep it's just simply like why can't we just i mean i guess in a way like why why is it that every time we do something 
another race or somebody comes in and just like steal the line. I can, Honestly, yeah, maybe, word. maybe. That only has meaning because we add meaning to it. I mean, respectfully, I ain't trying. My man said respectfully. This this is the guy that said uh, nefarious. Yeah, he got a big vocabulary. He's a big man. Is he wearing Tim's? No, he's not wearing. If he was wearing Tim's with them shorts, I would have been laughing. Right, like I feel like the only reason it's police so much, and I feel like the only reason we no, that's like what I'm trying to say, police debate or this debacle. See, he, debacle. I said it too. Is that is that me in the future? I look pretty good. <laughs> Whether we can use it or not, I love that piece of planet shirt. We're black people, and I don't, I don't, I'm not one of those people that think everything is racist and all that. But same in thing, this specific instance, right? same thing. In many different, <laughs> several instances, women in many, many instances have reclaimed the word bitch to be a term of. I love this man. I love this man. He needs some braces because he's spinning. You see what I did there? Because he's spinning facts. He need braces. Yeah, I don't understand the, the mind. But that's the same thing I just said. No one says shit about when women say bitches, but then you call a woman a bitch. You get, you get harassed and like you get sh shamed, but they can call each other bitches. But when it comes to nigga, everyone has this. That's what I'm saying. It's because we're black. That's the only reason. Uh, there, there are, uh, in the 90s, there was heavier women reclaimed the word fat. Uh, that's a good one too. Spelling and things like that, but I feel like it's gonna use. Instances, I wish you would have used the 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 slur for gay people. That gay be, that would, that's a really good one because that one has a lot of weight to it. Bats and I. Why is that understood? But with this, it's so confusing. Like, oh, I I don't know if, if like, exactly you know when there are boundaries. Exactly set, that word is one of the boundaries that I think we have exactly and rightfully set up for ourselves. Exactly. I I love this guy, Pizza Planet. If we use it, why can't it? We do that all the time with a bunch of different things. And yep. I don't think this should be one of the areas where we're like, no, exceptions. Yeah, let everybody see. No, I'm not. Well, I think I it, goes back to, it goes back to where you're saying boundaries. Because when you break down to inner communities where, you know, Here blacks and Asians, blacks and whites and hip hop culture, where there's like, it's five group of friends and their, their black friends don't care. They're like, oh. say. I get what he's saying. I get what he's saying. But that still doesn't change anything. I get what he's saying, because there are some black people that don't care. I'm not one of them, but there are some people. This is what I'm going to say. Some people may not agree with me. I don't really care if other black people let their non-black friends say, say nigga. But just don't say it around me. It, that's the thing is, it still doesn't matter. I can understand if you like in a different country, you may not understand the meaning. But in America, you know what that means. And regardless if you're if you're non-black and your black friend allows you to say, you should still have the common sense to know that every black person is not going to feel the same way. It goes back to what I said about how just because you play a violent video game doesn't mean that you need to act that way. But or oh, here go a better example. Me and my friends, we make very, like, we, we have a lot of dark humor. I remember when we was little, we used to make 9-11 jokes. Now, I know a lot of people are not going to feel the same way about me about those jokes. So that's why I don't say it in public, just with my friends. It's the same way. You know you can say that stuff with your friends, but you know the majority of people are not going to feel that same way. So at a certain point, it's, a, it's about an adult thing. You need to know... That just because you say it here doesn't mean you need to say it everywhere. So that that defense, I get what he's saying, but nah. That's like bad. that ha that happens. Nah. So it's like we're having this broad conversation. I don't think it's, and, it's not broad. You know, I, I know all of us aren't trying to be the spokespeople for, for black people, right? That's true. But it's like it's such a it's such a convoluted uh i guess topic i don't think it is i think people try to make it convoluted to make it like i think people try to make it convoluted so that way they try to like stump you like oh i got you now i can say it it's not convoluted just don't say it in public say it with the people you can say it with the black friends that allow you to say it say it in your own home just don't say it in public like come on now it's not that hard where it's like the it's really not that hard to people depending where you are if, if i'm sorry if i'm getting a little heated it's also hot it's just like i well, i hate when people try to play dumb like come on like we're all adults we know like it's it's very unclear that that's why it's think. not unclear um, i'm not arguing whether or not it's okay to say it or whether white people say it. i'm just saying if it's we don't not unclear see it, say it i think it needs to be very clear and i think it, it is even in fact in in this new age of our culture i think we're seeing more people saying we don't want white people to say it. Yeah, it, it's not, it's not, it's not convoluted. It's, it just goes back to just wanting to antagonize 
black people and just want to take stuff from them. That's literally all it Homophobia is. Homophobia is a big issue in the black community. How come this one's making me more like the nigga? <laughs> hey, listen. I just want to say I love black people. But we got to get our shit together because this is absolutely, this is, it is such a big problem in the black community. Oh my God. I think part of it, I think it's two reasons. One, I want to like, I'm not trying to start none, but like, I think one of the big reasons is because of, um, religion like that like religion plays a huge part also i think there's a lot of like like down like down low gay guys that don't want people to know they're gay so they try to act all macho and stuff but this is like, i remember growing up my brother's gay and growing up in middle school the things kids would say to me about my brother being and like they never met him before but they just knew because i guess one day they saw him and he's like very like flamboyant so they just like they would like the shit they would say to me. Oh my god, parents, watch what your kids are. Them little shits can. Oh, it's it's horrible. But yeah, we gotta work on that. Three, two. I feel like all of them should say yes. Go. Like don't don't even front. Yeah, yeah. We we gotta we gotta. It's very. Why is he? Why is he always? He's he's. The, I see what's happening. He's the guy that don't try to like. Honest. He don't try to like make anyone angry but like you gotta be real like he he's always either on the somewhat disagree or somewhat agree he's never on the agree or strongly agree side a lot of us black men we will rather be friends with the homie that it's know, water, it's ice has a rape attached to his name than the homie that's part of the lgbtq plus community that's true and i think that that's something that that's you know, true i know a couple of niggas because that my thing is I don't yeah, understand that's true. the whole big phobia of, okay, what he decides to do in his free time or behind closed doors, why does that bother you so much? Why does that affect it's, you? Like, why? It's because, like I said, I think it's because of religion and also them being gay themselves and then them denying who they are so they take it out on other people that you see someone that's being their best self of what you wish you could do so you get angry because of that. How do you feel like... It's that's my opinion like though the scum of the earth and i also think it comes from religion because i mm -hmm. i don't want to get too controversial with don't that, get too controversial now religious especially in the black community you know christians and and you know when you talk about the bible you know they say you know homosexuality is a sin so a lot of people they treat it like it's the worst sin though absolutely not there's, right. there's so many and sins a lot of people too they see but they see uh being gay man, they want to see consider... man, and they associate that with being straight heterosexual men have a fear that homosexual men will treat them how they treat women, if that makes sense. Woo! Oh no! He just opened up my sixth eye! Oh my boy! Yo! Hey yo, I wasn't feeling him at first, but now, well at first I wasn't, now he lost me. Yo, can I steal that? Wait, run that back, run that back, run that, that back. Homosexual men will treat them how they treat women, if that makes sense. Yo, look at his, look at, look at, look at, look, look at these faces. Remember, like, LeBron James, um, yo, that's, a, that's a third, I just added that, that's a new reason, bro. I didn't even think of like that, how so many, like, you have certain, certain men that treat women like shit, and like objects, they're afraid that gay men are gonna do the same thing, to, yo. Uh, he back on track. He back on track. He learned some shit. And so they're afraid of that treatment. Yo. And I'm on somewhat agree because I'm rather torn. I think I've lived a life where I'm around very open-minded, inclusive people. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure how big of an issue. I, kinda, I mean, I didn't want to I kind of thought he was gay. But I'm glad he, like, because I didn't want to make assumptions. I just, you know, but I'm good for him. Issue it is in the community. But I know that in the black church sphere, Homosexuality is often made out to be the worst thing that you can be. That's what I said. Nothing worse than being no, gay. bro. And I think that's all. You can be a reform murder murderer that found Jesus. People are like, good on you, boy. You could just be a gay guy that's like the night. You could find the cure of cancer. You could probably you could probably go to a church every day and you're just gay and people are like, oh my God, you you scum of the earth. Like it's crazy how people treat 
just how gayness is like the 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 worst thing you can be so where some of the homophobia comes from we like mm -hmm. to ignore all the other sins all the other things that the bible outlines exactly i having sex before marriage uh uh are you supposed to not eat meat or like glut gluttonous all that seven daily sins lust you know, was to be angry. How many people have been raffle? Uh, what else we got? We got uh, sloth. A lot of y'all lazy as fuck. I'm talking about y'all watching this on on your on your iPhones. You know what I'm talking about. That's yeah, true. Not, you know, holy. And gay is not. I mean, it's not even part of the seven deadly sins. We're supposed to be like the seven worst sins. Gay is not even part of the seven like seven like holy sins. Yet it's treated the worst. And then we just take homosexuality and we make it the worst. You know, granted the Bible says it's an abomination. I get that, but the Bible says any sin will send you to hell. So facts, facts you on facts. Be pro-black and date a white person. What does that mean? What What do you mean? What do you mean by that? What? Being pro black. When I see this, I think of um. I think of that episode. I don't remember the Fresh Prince of Bel Air where Carlton, Carl, Carlton. It was Car, Carlton, Car, Carlton, Carl, the the fuck Alonzo. Unusual. I remember that episode where he he wants to be a part of the um. The all black fraternity, but then the, the, the leader said he's not black enough because of the music he and the way he acts. When I think of that, I think like I think of that like pro black is pro. Like it doesn't matter who I date, who I'm in love with, as long as I'm trying to better the the way of black people. It shouldn't matter. Like that. that is, I feel like three, is somebody gonna say? Two, I feel like no one's gonna one, say uh, go. agree. Wow, he actually strong, strongly agree. Oh, let me see his opinion on this. I think really the issue with this statement is for me, if you are a stand-up person <laughs> and you stand up on your morals and your mm -hmm. character, right? It doesn't matter who you date. And I think a, a, a lot of <laughs> the issue is a lot of people get into you know interracial relationships or they date white people and they mm -hmm. forget who they are. And if you are pro-black. It doesn't matter if you're dating a black person, a white person, because you can date a white woman and a, a, a black woman and still not even be for the cause. So I really think it's up to the person if they stand on their morals. This or not. is true. I agree to a certain extent, but personally, me, I feel like. Nigga, you did not. You said strongly agree. You agree. If you, to a certain extent, you would have said somewhat agree. Nigga, you at the farthest end of the line. Don't don't hit me with that. Black, you're pro black for everything. Like, you're for the advancement of the race. You're for businesses. You're for everything black. So, the it's kind of hard. Didn't Hitler say that? The advancement of the race? <laughs> I think Hitler said that, right? For me to understand how someone can be pro-black and want so much for you know the black culture and the black race and then they're in a relationship with someone that doesn't represent that you know so are you saying what? that being you if you are black and you're pro-black you cannot act on attraction to someone from another race yeah because what I, well I, i'm not pro-black but in my mindset like, i'm saying if you're but you're on the line you wouldn't find someone that's not black attractive to me not Look, we're making the same face, nigga. What you? What are you talking about? That doesn't make any sense because you can't help who you like. You like who you like. If you happen to be attracted to someone who's white, so you're telling me if I'm in love with like a white woman, right? We're we're together, about to marry her, and then the whole thing, you know, with the whole riots and stuff, and then everyone's saying, "Hey, you, if you dating a white woman." You can't be pro-black. That means I have to like stop. I gotta break up with her and find a black woman. And it would make sense because depending on where you live, you uh you don't have a lot of like options. Like if you live in Iowa, I don't think there's a lot of black people in Iowa, right? So like, how's that like you know? And also another option. I don't know. I don't know if I should say this, but um, this is something I kind of went through. What happens? No, I ain't gonna talk about it. I ain't gonna talk about it. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. No. Too controversial. We're gonna continue Not with the video. attractive, but you want to like, cross that line and even engage in a relationship with them. You can have, like, you know, like lust, like, hey, lust. You know, she's an attractive We're bringing religion woman, back into it. Ideally, you want black kids. You want black family. You want your lineage to carry on. Oh, you no, can adopt. The, the question you can just adopt. Kind of like low key negates the demographics of the country. I mean, black folks make up 13% of the country, roughly, and 
a lot of the time we live in concentrations. So, what's going on? You know what oh, this is me like Iowa. It's gonna be, bro. It's me and this nigga. We need a hand. Hey, yo, do, if you watching this, bro, like we we like we need it because we mean you. We be on the same wavelength. That's what I'm saying though. Like, what if you just like you don't have a lot of options? It'd be a little tough to find you like a black woman, especially somebody that that might identify as pro-black. And also, you gotta find someone that's not just black, but someone, hopefully someone that you have the same interest in, or you want the same type of, like, you want a certain type of personality in someone. So I think it depends on what you do, not who you decide to be with. My, my first thought response to that. <laughs> he just standing there with his hands crossed. You you know when, like, you know you fucked up, and you just keep talking, and you, you like, you don't know where you're going with it. That's why I feel like he's, he, like, he's with, but I like his opinion on it. Differently. It's like his opinion we, on it. The, like, we get upset that people do it. This is the first time I think Mike sh actually strongly disagree or agree with Plus something. Generally, like, looking at black people and judging them and stereotyping them and making assumptions about them is like, so on the flip side, why should we be doing that to other people? Exactly. Hypocrites. Who, you know, they're in a relationship depending on the color of their skin. <laughs> I'm not. That makes it. <laughs> Hit him with that goofy laugh. <laughs> a lot. I do. Like, I, I look at people differently based what? on who they. Brother, I was so ready for you. You could be dating for fun. I feel like I look at people different based on who they marry. Like Jordan Peele, Childish Gambino. What? I feel like I can look at them and be like, I'm not, I'm not looking down on them. I don't okay, think okay. negatively. Okay. I'm like, oh, I see. <laughs> and like, oh, okay, you, I see. Like, because people, like black men that date white women, it, there's something different. And there's nothing, nothing wrong with that. But you you know what it is. Like, you. you oh. I know he's he's not he's not completely wrong. I know what he's saying. He's saying that black men that date white women have a certain allure about them. I think what he's trying to say is that usually black men that date white women are usually either quirky or weird, which is kind of true. Cause like if y'all know Challenge Gamb uh, well Donald Glover, Challenge Gambino, he's a very if you watch his old stand up, he's a very weird, weird person. Same thing, Jordan Peele's kind of like very quirky. But it's not completely true because there's some black men that don't fit those categories that do date white women. But here's the thing. I wanted to say this, but I guess I'm going to say it now. Sometimes, not all, but I would say, I want to say all or majority, but a good portion of, I'm just saying from my perspective since I'm a black man, I'm talking about for black women, a good portion of black women are just not really into quirky slash weird black men. I'm not saying, there are some out there, but there's a good a good portion that just they're not into that type of personality and how i know is because you guys know i'm very i'm a weird i'm a weird dude growing up black women just weren't into me and like i would always ask out a black woman and just like it was to no prevail i could get a date i didn't get my first date until i got to college and it was a white woman who came up to me I've never experienced someone coming up to me and like being like, hey, you want to go like go on a date? That shit was like, I felt like I was on, was it? Well, I say Ashton Kutcher, where he at? What, what pranks? This pranks? So like sometimes you have a certain type of personality where like it's not alluring to a specific group of people. So you have to go and find other people that will like it. And like I said, not every black woman is like that. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of black women out there that do like that type of personality it's just i never found one that was into me it's always been either white asian or hispanic women that will always been into me so but i get what he's oh, saying okay. though Child i get what he's saying i can see that uh jordan peel okay i can see that I, I can't think of another example but you i feel like i can tell like okay like, Bill Cosby. that's cool you know i'm happy you happy <clears throat> I'm sorry, that was an inappropriate, inappropriate joke. It's no disrespect to them, but I see the difference. Yeah. I prefer a light skin partner to a Ooh, dark skin. We talking about that colorism. We talking about that col colorism. Okay, here's the thing. He said prefer. I don't think it's anything wrong because what prefer means, and a lot of people don't know what prefer means. A lot of people think requirement is the same as prefer. Prefer just means you prefer one thing over another. It doesn't mean you won't accept that thing or won't like to go with that thing it's just you prefer that if we're talking preference i don't think there's any wrong with it i don't personally have a preference with like race or color but if we're talking about preference a lot of that can also be due with like eternal like problems three two one go it, it.
Hit that, hit that. For a light skin prop. Here we go, go, go to somewhat, Mr. Er, er, ooh! We play them colorism games over here. Exactly, he always so, on. The reason why I, subconsciously for me, the reason why I feel that way is, you know, growing up, I was always, uh, you know, bullied for my skin color. I That's going to say, I also, I just called the uh, the duty master, the, you know, the dookie master, because I was, I'm a very, I'm not as dark as a lot of, like, as him, but I was, like, the darkest person majority of the time in, like, my middle school and high school. And people would make fun, like, it's, it's, it's kind of like a thing now where, like, women like dark skin niggas, but, like, growing up, you know, it was very, very much different. So I can understand, like, he probably has, like, a self, like, I won't say hatred, but like a self, like, like maybe he doesn't want his, I don't know. I'm trying to say maybe he doesn't want his kids to like, maybe if he has kids, he doesn't want his kids to be dark. So that way they don't have to go. Through. Maybe it's like a, maybe like a self hatred. Out of place. Hatred. You know, I was always told I'm not black enough. And when you constantly hear that and you get beat down with that and you know, you doubt yourself and like like i said i grew up in a broken home i grew up in a foster care system so i never and it'd be weird because it'll be like women the same color as me that'd be like you look like dookie like bitch we look the same we both monkeys like i, I never understood that time to figure out myself and for a lot of times i don't tell a lot of people this but i used to hate the way i looked i i was like i don't like being dark skinned I want to be light and I'm just being honest but now I'm more comfortable with myself I guess I have a question do you think it's because um, you look at a potential partner as this is the first oh I put mute this is the first time this nigga spoke I forgot he was even there Jordan I don't think he spoke the whole entire time he looked good though he looked good looking man but this is the first time lighter skin he's been waiting for this very moment for, to talk about you know, potential children or so would be lighter skin so they don't have to go with Go through what. That's you what I said. I think me and Jordan. Nah, on you know, at the end of the day, for me, I, I'll marry whoever I, I, I seem fit. So it really doesn't, to me, matter about the skin color. But I will admit, subconsciously, I do think, you know, when I see a light skinned woman, I actually, you know, look a little longer, or I might linger a little uh, longer, or be a little more interested, just because of. I get what know, he's saying. That. He's saying that like. I think he's saying that it's like it's more of a subconscious thing. Like he doesn't think about it. Like it's not he doesn't really care, but like because of what happened to him, it's like it's like I don't think he's thinking that like that far. He's not thinking about like my kids will like, look like that. I don't want them to go through that. It's more so like he just like he remember the times people call him ugly. And so he look at someone that doesn't look like him a little bit. I get what he's saying. Like it's more of a subconscious thing. That consciousness that I had growing up. So it's it's not something that I say that dark skinned women are far unsuperior or light skinned women are more superior. It's just because of the constant beat down and the constant hatred about me being dark skinned and the way I was treated that subconscious. I like his hair though. I like it's like a, a lion's yeah, mane. Sort of like self hatred because of that. Yeah, well, not anymore because it took me a long time. I mean, this started happening, you know, like I said when I was six when I got in foster care. So, but now I'm more comfortable. We're looking at myself. I'm a good looking tall glass of chocolate milk. So, okay, you know. chocolate. I, have, I have a question. Like, <laughs> okay, you chocolate. All feel like you've become the person that bullied you by then having this preference toward life. Why y'all grilling him like that, bro? I mean, I just say he's the only one over there. That would look I like good. Percy, though. I will admit, yes. I, I will admit that. And, uh, you know, like I said, we, you know, we just shooting a, you know, shooting a realism. So I, I do agree with that. Yeah. And I think that's why now I'm, focusing on myself and you know being a part of this discussion is very important for me because i'm starting to you know realize that that prejudice needs to go and i see this a lot uh in, in the entertainment industry now where you know they want a black woman but they want the the Zendaya. your complexion they want that light skin that look like she can go in between the white family and the black family and i i think i i only speak openly about it because i know there's a lot of people who feel that way too but they don't want to admit to it or they don't want to express it and you know be rejected so um i, I mean you see it in the media too so i think that plays a big part in that too i fuzz with that i, fuzz I with that person. currently go to therapy i do not but i need to the stuff i've been through i definitely need to go to something i think everybody not just black men but black men specifically because we we go through some shit. but everyone go to therapy it's good i i don't have the money to I would I just don't have once how about whenever I like I make it big in something whether it's a career or whatever my first like big check I'm going to therapy because I need that heavily 
heavily need some therapy. You need to talk about my feelings. Two, one, go. <laughs> I needed some therapy though. He's always on some. I need my girlfriend, my therapist, but she don't like that. So, I'm I'm thinking about going fairly soon just to speak my mind because I feel like there's a lot of things that you know everything's cool up front, but everyone has like something that's just <laughs> he hit him with like that digging at them somewhat internally. Wait, that, uh, you know, maybe either you them in some sort of way, you know, and I feel like, uh, you know, if you have that type of feeling, like you should go. Yeah, therapy can be going to the beach or like. Going out to eat or doing something that relaxes you. So physical therapy. Going hold, to on, hold on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Are we talking about? Are we talking about self care or therapy? Cause like that's not therapy, my boy. That's self. -care. <laughs> we have to be able to draw a line. I know what I'm saying. There's, it's open to interpretation. Yeah. I'm here because well, yeah. I took it as like sitting in front of a therapist, someone licensed to do this. Do I do that? No. Do I find other avenues to relieve stress or whatever? Yes. But you can't okay. mix up self care with therapy. Okay, it's two different doing. things. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's two. It, self care is important, but you need to be able to talk to someone too. Yeah, I've been in therapy for quite some time. Um, personal therapy, um, just for myself, just issues that I have internally that I speak with someone with on a professional level. I recommend therapy. Therapy is literally the best thing you can. Yeah, I bet it is. Uh, for me, I find therapy in my faith. You know, and uh, I know there are a lot of people who yes, Mike. They look at like, you know, the Christian church specifically and might not adhere to that. But I think in recent years, uh, the church has been adding more professionalism to what therapy means. Mm -hmm. Having these conversations, you know, for some reason, it makes you feel like a lesser That's man. More. Because when we talk about therapy, you know, people are like, really? You going to therapy? But I don't hear what think anybody thinks. That's why a lot of people have anger issues. That's mm -hmm. why a lot of black men have anger issues because, you know, they grow up a certain way or they face a lot of challenges and they don't know how to express it. So the first thing they do is nah. they take it out on you or their girlfriend or their mom and they don't have someone or an outlet to express it. So I think we need to normalize going to therapy, uh, therapy and not pushing it off. I like Percy. We need it. You know, we need healing and we need somebody to talk to us. I think healing trauma is going to help black people progress instead of just getting more trauma piling on top of each other. And in a lot of ways that does come into an aspect of personal responsibility because it's like my issues with my dad at a certain point has nothing to do with him anymore. At a certain point, it has to do with me and how I process it. And I have to go for him. Do I want to get angry at my dad I'm my life. in the same room as him? Or do I want to be able to walk in the same room as him and not have that reaction? And that was what I processed in my head when I was going through that therapy. That's nice. My father was present. Why would y'all do this? Why would y'all do this? Why would y'all do this to me and everyone watching? No, my me personally. I mean, maybe they were. Me personally, my father was never in my life. But it, you know what's funny? Growing up, it never bothered me that I didn't have a dad in my life. Like, it never really bothered me at all. Like, it wasn't until I got to college where I started, like, I started thinking about it. I'm like, whoa, I really didn't have a dad in my life. It's like when you start getting older and more cautious of what's going on. But like from middle school to high school, I never gave a shit. In a way, it both it, it did affect me negatively, but it also affect me positively because it made me realize what type of person I want to, what type of man I want to be July. in life. So, three, two, one, go. Damn, damn near everybody had that daddy, huh? Okay, that's nice. Not to jump into this one, like I absolutely love my dad. I'm even mm -hmm. getting a that's nice. Emotional thinking that's about nice. My dad. Yeah, my dad's was amazing. Cool. My dad was, was there for me in every way, shape, or form. That's nice. Every facet, every way that facet, he could be there for penis? me and more. He was there for me. He was there okay. to pick me up from school. He was oh. there at my soccer games, my track meets. You played he was soccer. My coach for soccer one year. Damn, that man did everything. Me everything that I know, almost. Look, he shook his head in the back. Fuck you, Jordan. You haven't been saying shit the whole time. Don't you shake your head? Aspire to be. Um, I don't think I could have had a better father. It's almost why I'm discouraged to have kids because I feel the pressure. Oh, that's to nice. Up to the example you don't want to have kids because you disappoint your father. So yeah. he was there. My father Still always is. disappointed I, me. I said someone disagree because <clears throat> my, I ended up being put in foster care when I was six years old mm. with a couple of my younger brothers. And uh, I remember, uh, I don't remember what my dad looks like, but I do remember uh, he passed away when I was around seven or eight. So uh, I can't really fault him for that but you know my mom she was uh widowed so she lost her husband and she just she decided to take care of us and I don't think my life would be any different I don't 
regret not having a dad, but sometimes I do want to, you know, secretly, you know, what life would have been like if I had that fatherly figure in my life. And I think mm. that's another stereotype that, you know, black men don't have their fathers in their life. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a it's true one. See, you know, a lot of y'all are over there. Um, For me, my yeah, dad I was about to say that. as present as he could have been. He's a typical older Belizean dude. Um, Their culture. The fuck is Belizean? What is Belizean? How do you even spell that? Belgium? He's he's Belizean to African? Should I do that? It's gonna bring up porn. Please don't bring up porn. Oh, they bring up slaves. Okay, let's okay, Belizean it is. It's just very different from American culture. Um, it's very passive aggressive. Um, oh. I remember times being young and I would question my mom all the time, like, hey, like, you know, why is he not around? Why is he not there? And, you know, she did the best she could as a single mother. Um, now I can say my dad is very present in my life. Oh, that's what um, I'm like, why you however, somewhat like agree? Our relationship is very, like, financial based, if that makes sense. Like, what? I feel like I don't have a real connection with my father. Like, he's there for me if I need something, like, if I need to, like, if I want this, if I want that, like he's always there for me, like money wise, but I feel like I'm still like desiring for that real connection. Like how you mentioned how you have that mental connection with your father. Like, I feel like I don't have that. So that kind of puts a desire into me to where I'm desperate now to be a father, not desperate, but I'm, yeah, I'm desperate to be a father. No, say, say your shit, bro. You, ain't nothing wrong with that. Give the things nothing wrong with that shit. You know, make sure that I nurture my kid more than just the money aspect of things. Like I want to be there, you know, and always possible. I kind of feel like now I kind of just sur like suppress it and try to ignore it because he's here now, which I definitely feel like I shouldn't do. I think that it's never too late to mend a relationship. It's never too late to rewrite the story. I mean, you can't go back in time and- This man be speaking poetry. Rewrite the story. Mend the relationship. Because although I have a good relationship with my father, relationships are constant maintenance and their work. And I know that parents can be toxic too. They can break your heart more than anyone else can. I'm not saying that your dad did. Um, but maybe you should start today. Give him a call, invite him out for a coffee. You know, start somewhere. Father's Day coming up, dog. Or, I mean, it's nothing wrong, like, same, I mean, that's cool too, but it's nothing wrong with like, if you don't want someone in your life, if you give them time and time and chance, they don't change. Like, you don't always have to be the one to like, fix something. If it if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. That's my opinion on it. <laughs> that is a that's it. A wrap. Yeah. Hey, hey, I feel like I was part of this. I low key want to do one. Of I want to be on Ju Jubilee one of these days. Jubilee or cut? Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. No, oh, that's cool. That's actually really, that was a really good episode. That was, that was a really good episode. I really like that. I like seeing the uh, perspective. Being a black man, it's nice to see perspective of other black men and how they feel about you. This is another one they did. They did like black people. I didn't like this one. They, they This one was more funny. Like they were doing like a lot of like, do all black people like chicken and shit? Like I didn't like that one, so I never did that. Instagram models are real, are not real models. I mean, that's a whole story for a different time. We ain't gonna watch that though. But I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, make sure this is a pretty long video. I'm been what almost fifty minutes. I might cut. Actually, I might just keep because it was like pretty good. I think I might keep the majority of it. In. I might cut down like two couple minutes. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment. Today's comment is um. Uh, even if you're not black, did, did this like was this an interest, like an insight for you on different? Because this is good for everybody, like not just a specific culture. Like anybody can like gain something from this. So let me know in the comments below. But that's it. I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow with some more Resident Evil Three. I think Resident Evil Three. Yeah, Resident Evil Three tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna have some Mario Super Mario World Friday, and then next set well, this Saturday I'm gonna have some more. Probably the end of uh 12 minutes. That was a real fun game. But that's it. I keep saying that. I love you guys' faces. I'm going to see y'all. And yeah, peace.